Hello lovelies, welcome to my chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm going to show you how you can achieve this beginner friendly first bit. So make sure you watch to the end. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Don't worry, it is free. so I've already mixed my foundation here I'm using two types of foundation I'm using the black opal uh, foundation in the shade black walnut and then I've also mixed it with um, the perfect foundation snail 100% kiss beauty in the shade I don't know oh, three in the shade number three so I've already mixed them I'm using my my hand just like that so yeah so I'm looking this side because this is where the mirror is, you guys. You know, I was just thinking, it's the beginning of the year and we all do reviews. And I've, I've seen a lot of reviews already on YouTube. People have been doing reviews about what they want to do. And I've also done my own reviews. Actually, I posted a video. If you want to see that video, you can, I'll link, the, uh, the, I'll link it down in the description box. Why am I stammering? It's been long, it's been long, it's been long since I made a video. Anyway, yeah, so where's my brush? So, um, I was just like thinking, like every year we make New Year's resolutions. I do it myself, like every year I come up with some New Year's resolutions, the things that I want to do, things that I don't want to do. And when the year ends, I look back and I don't always achieve some of the things that I did. In fact, I don't I don't achieve most of the things that I wrote down. Is it that I'm not doing enough or that I'm doing too much, you know? Because there's been this talk of uh, people saying, no, if you want to achieve something, you put reasonable expectations. So my question, like something that I've been, that, that has been on my mind a lot, is it that, is it that I have to my expectations are too big for me or is it that i'm just not doing enough you know because this year i want to do something different i really want to reach december and look back and discover or rather see that i have done almost everything that i put on my expectation list so this is what i what, what i've been thinking and this is what i think i'm going to do this year i think I'm not going to I'm only going to put down one expectation for myself and this one is what I'm going to be working on the whole year you know so I've, de I've, I've decided to just pick that one big thing that I want for the year so I'm, I'm hoping you can achieve that one big thing at the end of the year so for this year I want to grow my YouTube channel you know because I it is very big to me I feel like it is what what's making me happy and I really really want to grow my YouTube channel and that is what I want to work towards so I'm hoping that me putting one expectation is going to help me achieve that because I don't want to say I want to lose weight I want to achieve my you know if it is too much again I think I will not achieve it because I'm going to forget about some of the things and then at the end of the day I'll forget about everything okay so I'm, I'm not going to be highlighting I'm using my pro concealer in the shade toffee so like yeah this is what I've been thinking you guys like this year I only have one expectation for myself that is to grow my YouTube channel everything else is not really top priority you know I'm not saying I'm not going to be doing anything else I'm going to be doing everything else but whatever I do my YouTube channel is going to be like top priority you know what I mean yeah so I like to use my fingers to blend this this is what I use the tapping method I just do this like that just like that so yeah like this is something that has been on my mind like it's so disappointing when the year goes and you know days are moving fast nowadays like the days and years and are waiting for nobody so you find that at the end of the day at the end of the year you sit back and you are the same way that you were a year ago and we're getting old you guys like we're getting old like we're no longer children 
we are now in fact some of us are already married so meaning i have a family now like did i think i was going to have a family i mean did i think i was going to have a husband and a house by, by now no but it is happening 10 years down the line I'm, I'm probably going to have kids and you know days days wait for nobody and i just feel like we really need to do something about ourselves in terms of how we approach work how we approach every year that comes so i'm thinking like i said if i set down that big goal like i say i'm going to achieve this by the end of the year i think it's going to help me out a lot because i cannot forget it is just one thing in fact what i want to do is i'm going to stick the weight youtube everywhere in my house my husband is just going to have to forgive me about this because i plan on sticking the word youtube in our bedroom at the living room in the kitchen everywhere i go i have to see the word youtube because i feel like once i do that i won't forget wherever i go even when i'm watching tv i know that i can't watch too much tv because YouTube is waiting for me, you know, like that's what I want to do this year. So let me know like what are some of the things that, that you plan on doing differently this year? Like just let me down, let me know in the comment section. Is there anything that you plan on doing differently? Are you still going to put up all those same resolutions again? Like how is it working for you? Is it working? Or just let me know what you think. Let me know what you think because I have been finding it so hard. Anyway, so I'm done with my highlight. I'm now going to be contouring. I'm going, I'm going to be using this one. It's not even as dark as I like it to be, but I like to use it just not too much, just a little bit. Um, yeah, because actually it changes it's you see what it, let me show you something you see when i put like that it's not as dark as i want it to be so i don't i just put a little yeah i put a little bit so yeah that's what i have been thinking about like this has got me thinking about everything like life waits for nobody <laughs> time is moving very soon we're going to have gray hair and then you look back and you discover that you did nothing and like my worst fear like literally you guys is to die without like to die and not achieve anything and you guys scared of that like you look back you're on your deathbed and you just look back and you didn't do anything like you did nothing your whole life and let's say you die at 80 and you have 80 years and you have not done anything and you guys scared like this scares me a lot a lot a lot a lot so for me if i'm doing a quick face i don't usually bake what i do is i just tap like that this is what i do normally so my mirror is here this is why i'm looking this side so i don't usually bake unless i have the time but right now i don't have the time i just get a bit and I tap it in just like that. I don't have time like now. This is what I do. Like today I kind of just woke up thinking given like life waits for nobody. Life is not on pause for me. Life is not on pause for everybody or anybody actually. It is moving and by the way we all have 24 hours in a day like how do people manage you know how are people achieving their goals and then how are people not achieving their goals like what's the difference between somebody who actually has achieved whatever they want to achieve and somebody who is just trying to achieve it you know i think the difference is that the person that has a, that, that is working on their goals realizes that time is not waiting for nobody and then the rest of us who are lagging we feel like there's still time i'll do this tomorrow and i think that's a mentality that we should all not even entertain that into that that thought which comes to you and saying okay you will do this tomorrow i'll do this the next day you know so yeah i'm done baking this is not really baking i'm just done putting powder 
so on my dark shades where is my highlight okay so to contour i'm going to be using this palette i don't know the name because it's i've been having this for a long time but i'm going to be using this shade and this shade i'm going to blend them together to contour so yeah guys i don't i don't know i don't know let's let's let like guys let's pour out our socks this year like especially some of us, especially us who are in our 20s you know sometimes i feel like we think we are still young we feel like life is actually just waiting for us you know and yeah we are young but we are not growing younger we're actually growing older you know so i feel like we need to pull up our socks because one day we're just going to wake up and we are going to be old and we can't move anymore and we can't that's scary don't you guys like are you not scared like you just wake up one day and you're old you know i would like to actually be 50 look back and say i spent my 20s well you know so this is how I contour. So to contour my nose, I pinch my brush like this. And I just do that. brush and I just use it to blend everything out because this one has nothing on it so I use it to just dab and blend everything to each other because you don't want to have harsh lines like you know like that and it's there so for my eyes I'm going to use this little palette which I got from Chinese shop <laughs> So I went ahead and uh, did my eyelashes off camera, as you can see, Dan. So I'll be lining my lip with this brown eyebrow pencil. Yeah, damn. 